Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show five ways on how I can share Google Slides files with my students. Before I begin, let me first show you this example file that I am going to share with my students. This slide deck has links. For example, this slide serves as a menu. When I click any of this, it will go to the slide where it will be discussed. In addition, this presentation also has animation. At the end, I have a slide for references, wherein if I click any of these links, I will be directed to a different website. I am going to show five ways on how I can share this Google Slides file with my students. What I want to happen is to allow them to view the content, but they will not be able to move, change, delete, or add contents on this file. They are only expected to view this as a material that they can study. The first method is to download a PDF equivalent of this file. To do that, I will go to File, choose Download, then select PDF Document. The PDF file will be downloaded on my computer. This file is the one that I can share with my students. Let us check how students will view the file. I am going to open it. Let's check if the link within the file is working. Yes, it is. However, this option will work best if there is no moving graphics, animation, and slide transition as they will not be available. Let us also check the references link. As we can see, I can also open it. The second method is to download an image, which is either PNG or JPEG file. To do that, go to File, pick Download, and choose any of the two image file formats. For this demo, I will download JPEG. There are some disadvantages using this option, like hyperlinks are not available, no animation, no moving graphics, and you can only download an image one at a time. The third option is to create a link that can be opened by students just like how they open websites. What I will do is to publish to the web. This pop-up window will appear. This is where I can specify the settings, like what will happen if the student presses the play button in the presentation toolbar. I am going to leave the default as is. I will press the publish button. I will be asked if I am sure to do this action. I will press the OK button. A link will be provided. I will copy this link and will share to my students so they can view this file. Now let's check what the students will see. Students will paste the link to the address bar or I can put the link to the Google Classroom so they will be able to access it by just pressing a link. What they will see is a presentation view of the Google Slides file. They will not be able to access the editor view anymore which is a good thing because I don't want my students to make changes in the slide. The presentation toolbar can be seen at the bottom of the screen. Links that will direct within the slides, moving objects, animation, slide transition, links going to other websites are all working. Another good thing about using this is when I make changes in the slide, it will be reflected to the student's view once they refresh the page, just like this. Now what if I need to stop my students viewing the file? I just have to go back to the File tab and select the Publish to the Web option. I will click the Stop Publishing button and confirm the action. The fourth way is by using the shareable link. I will click the share button located at the upper right corner of the screen. Under the get link area, I will click the change anyone with the link. Notice that this drop down menu appeared. This is where I can specify the visibility of the file on the internet. When the drop down arrow is clicked, options will appear like restricted, anyone with a link, and if you are a registered G Suite user, you will see another option which will allow you to restrict the visibility within the school domain. In this demo, I will select anyone with a link. 
On the right side, I can set the accessibility of those who will use the link. Options are viewer, commenter, and editor. Since I want my students to view the file only, so I am going to select the viewer option. I will copy the link, then I will press the done button. The link that was copied is the one that I need to share with my students so they can view the file. Let's check what the students will see on their end. My students will see the file in Google Slides application. They need to press the present button in order to view it in presentation mode. All the links, moving graphics, object animations, slide transitions are working properly. Let me share tips on how the students can automatically see the presentation view. We just have to change some text in the shareable link that we are going to give to the students. And that can be done by simply removing the text that starts with edit and replacing it with preview. Let's try. You see, it automatically opened in the presentation view. As we can see, the toolbar at the bottom is still shown. If you don't want that to appear, we simply add these characters after the word preview. The toolbar is usually removed if you want to require the students to just select the links on the slide instead of moving from one slide to another using the toolbar. The fifth way is by sharing directly in the Google Classroom. After accessing the Google Class, I will go to the Classwork tab, select the Create button, and choose Assignment. I will write the title, click the Add button, and select the Google Slides file in my Google Drive. That is, if I already created a file. But if not, I can actually go to the Create button and select Google Slides. Now let me continue by selecting the file in my Google Drive. I will click the Insert button. This is the file that I will be adding in this assignment. I want my students to use this file to put all their answers. Now let's go back to the classwork page. On the right side of the added file, I will see a drop-down menu. Options are students can view the file, students can edit the file, and make a copy for each student. We use the first option if we just want to let the students view the file only. We use the second option if we want all the students to edit just one file. And we use the third if we want to make a copy for each student. In my demo today, I will use the second option. I will complete all the details on the settings and I will press the Assign button. This is actually one of the activities in my class. As you can see, aside from the file that my students will all use, I also added a slide that has a detailed instruction which the students can only view. On the right side, I added the due dates, topic, and rubrics. This is the instruction of the seat work. If you need a detailed tutorial of how to use Google Classroom, I will add the links of my tutorial videos that I hope will help you. You may see them in the description of this video. I hope I was able to enlighten you about the different ways on how we can share Google Slides file. With this in mind, I'm sure you will be able to share the file with your students exactly how you want them to view it. If this video is helpful, please like and share it with your friends too. They might be needing this information at the moment. For any feedback, please don't hesitate to write it in the comment section. Please consider supporting my channel too by subscribing and pressing the notification bell. Thank you!